And finally, last one that I wanted to hit, Chris. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that you watched some of this because it was a lot of fun. SMU 31, Navy 24. Yeah, I watched a lot of it. Navy. Since turning over to Ty Lavatai, I hope I said that right, <laughs> since turning, turning the offense over to him at quarterback, they have been significantly better. But if you look at the yardage in this game and everything else, the fact that, that Navy was able to stay in this game was a bit surprising. Uh, but SMU turned the football over twice. The, the total yardage here, Navy only had 241 yards of total offense to SMU's 404. They only had 177 yards on, on the ground. Navy did. Out of 53 carries, they averaged 3.3 per rush. But they only gave up 2.8 yards per rush to SMU, who has been pretty good on the ground. Uh, remember, SMU had like 350 yards on TCU on the ground. This was, uh, like, I, I had a feeling this was going to go this way. I, it was one of my best bets. I had Navy plus 13 and a half. I, I just felt Navy has been playing better since the bye week, right? They had a bye week in week three, came back out, and has looked significant, uh, significantly better. They, they beat UCF last week, and this week, you know, came this close to SMU. SMU, by the way, still undefeated. Yep. And and I think that's very important for Cincinnati. Now we didn't we didn't talk Cincy because obviously they thrashed Temple on Friday night. Yeah, there's nothing to talk about. But this was, you know, you need the AAC to have good teams. SMU appears to be a pretty good team. You know, you got a you got a thought on this one. No, it's just that it was a big game, fun game. More exciting than I thought it would be. We haven't seen Navy be this fun in a long time. <laughs> Michael jumped in. He said Gary's drunk. Navy stinks. Navy is one and four, but I'm telling you. Teams do have the ability to improve over the season. They looked awful really, in the first two weeks. But. Really good chance that they're two and four next week. Who uh, who they got next week? I don't even look. They're at Memphis for a Thursday night football game. Uh, yes. And now after that, they've got Cincinnati, Tulsa, Notre Dame, and then East Carolina, Temple, and Army to close. Then then talk about that. Talk about nope. next week. Talk about next they're week. A, they're playing a dead ass Tiger team. Uh, Memphis is definitely. I didn't even put Memphis and Tulsa on here, but we shouldn't. You shouldn't. They, they don't deserve being talked about. No, Beating Memphis, that team is nothing special. Memphis They're is just bad. Three and three now. Three and three, and uh, and have lost three straight since beating Mississippi State at home. The the same Mississippi State team that turned around and went to Kyle Field and beat Texas A and M. The amount did. of bullshit that it took for them to beat Mississippi State, though, this is the football oh, yes. gods coming and getting your ass. That's yes. what that is. A hundred percent. 100%. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.